Welcome to Artistic Digitizer, five minutes at a time. I'm Anne Hine, Embroidery Software Specialist for Genomi America. Today, I wanna to show you how to use the knife tool. We're going to open a new page and the knife tool is used to cut things apart if you need to cut your shapes apart and so forth. So let me show you an easy way. We're going to use our shapes tool, left click and drag to make our shape, turn off the tool by going to selection, we're going to select our digitized outline shape tool and it's on the default, which is the context. So that means when I left click, I'm going to get curves. And when I use shift and left click, I'll get corners. I'll show you that one next. When I get to the end, I left click, right click and shape. And here we go. We're gonna select my line and my shape, right click, select knife. Now it's cut this into two parts. I'm gonna move that up so you can see that. Then a straight line, you could use your digitized outline shape, hold down shift, left click, left click, right click, and shape. Now you have a straight line. Turn off your tool, select the knife, hit shift, and select the other part, and come down here to knife. And now you have a straight line cut. So that's how it works. So let me show you something fun that you can do with it. We're gonna to go to a new page and we're going to start with our lettering tab. And I do have this chunky font that I like. This is an XBG font. It's a pre-digitized number 173. You can use any font that you like. And up here, I'm gonna type the word love and I'm gonna turn off my text tool by going to select, click and drag love. And then I'm just going to drag it across here to make it larger and a little bit longer so we have something to play with. Now this is a satin stitch. I'm not gonna worry about that because once I start cutting that apart, it will change to a step fill. So the next thing I need to do is use my digitized outline shape and I'm going to just left click across, putting some uh, curved lines across my shape. And then at the end, I'll left click, right click and shape. I can go ahead and I can select the knife or the line for the knife. And then I'm going to select instead all of it, right click, knife, and it will cut all of it apart. Now I can pull down this lower section. If I click on the first one and then hold down shift and click on the other parts, use my arrow key and I can separate them slightly. From here, I could do another line if I wanted to. And maybe I'll do another curvy line that goes like this. And and shape, go ahead and I'm going to select that and then just hold down shift and select the little parts under here by clicking on them. Right click, knife. If you don't see knife, you don't have the right things selected when you're working. So then we're gonna pull these down a little bit so you can see them. Now the fun begins. Once you have this apart, you can come in here and select your letter parts, go to your properties under fill and go to pattern and you can choose different patterns. And I'm gonna change the colors as I go also because it's easier to see some of these with um, the colors change. So let's go back to properties. We're gonna do another step pattern, maybe this wavy one. And I will make that one this light blue color and so forth. So you can go through all your parts and create uh, different colors and different fills for them with the patterns. Come down in here, maybe you do this little mosaic or something more that shows better. There we go, something like that. Now you can keep your outlines as they are, or you can go to outline and make them satin serial and make them a little bit wider, maybe 3.0 mm. There you go. Or if you want, you can select your parts and you can use a running stitch with a pattern like this. So then you would have a pattern around there. So it's really up to you. You could have different patterns, different colors, all different things with your lettering. There's so much that you can do with this. So just go through. If there's something here, maybe I didn't like that fill, I can come back in here and replace it with something else. Maybe this part would be a little bit better. There we go, so you can see that up close and I could work through it there. And that's five minutes at a time with Artistic Digitizer.